<sighs> oh, okay. Surprise. Ah. I don't want to lift a finger right now. Same here. We'll need to take it easy today. <laughs> I picked you as a type with a few screws loose, and I guess I was right. Ever heard of moderation? <laughs> you were into it too. Don't put all the blame on me. <laughs> Harato, some people would slap you for saying something like that. Well, that was fast. Yeah. Hey, Missy. What are you doing here? <laughs> So I came to get some water. Want some, Zen? Sure, I'll have some. <laughs> Sit next to me and have a drink. <laughs> you really are a strange one. I'm surprised you're always smiling despite the situation we're in. Oh, okay. we'd be even sadder if we we're always frowning. <laughs> smiling makes you feel happier, and everyone is so nice. Sachika is really happy right now. <laughs> Do you really think so? Are you happier than you were before the world ended? <laughs> well... I suppose you would be. You were cooped up all alone in a hospital before the world was destroyed, weren't you? I wasn't alone. Lots of people came to talk to me. They'd come play with me, meet together with me. <laughs> they took good care of you, huh? <laughs> yeah, they were all so kind. Ooh, the nice old lady who taught me Cat's Cradle. The old man who played the meat pipe! <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, did I remind you of your days in the hospital? Maybe things were better for you back then, after all. <laughs> the people from the hospital aren't around anymore. But I have all you guys now, so I'm happy. <laughs> You're very brave for a child. <laughs> aren't you happy, son? Don't you live like everyone here? <sighs> I don't hate them, but I can't say I trust them. They all act like they care for each other, but who knows what they're thinking deep inside. That's just how humans are. Son. That's not heartwarming at all. Uh... Oh man, what a long day. So yeah, I'm exhausted hmm. too. Don't you want to just spend a day doing absolutely nothing? You know, as a treat to ourselves? Hmm. Why not? It's not like we have weekdays and weekends that define our work schedules anymore. What's with that look? Is there something on my face? Yeah. No, I just thought you'd get mad at me or something. <sighs> what, what kind of person do you take me for? Mm. Well, sort of like a student council head who grew up into a corporate slave. The type to get mad the moment you goof off. Hula. See, you got mad already. Mm. I'm not mad, just sort of exasperated. Besides, assuming a chairman is overly serious type is just a stereotype in manga and anime. I bet many of them did it because of pressure, or look good on their school reports. Besides, I've never been the chairman of anything before. Sad to say, I'm not really the popular type. Did it look like I'd be able to pull that off? Hmm. Mm, could've fooled me. You took on the leader role in the end, and you seem like the reliable type when things go south. I feel like I can count on you not to abandon me. Uh, even if that's true, things only turned out that out of way out of necessity. Besides, we should cooperate in situations like this. It's not that I'm special or anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's this, Harato? Your face is looking a little red. Sh sh shut up! I'm going to sleep. So <laughs> sundere. Don't get upset, man. I was just teasing you. But you know, I meant everything I said. <laughs> well, Oyasumi. Hmm? Oyasumi. Ah, yeah. there you are. What are you doing out here so late at night? I woke up to find you weren't next to me, so you had me worried. Ah. Doctor, have you heard of the Doctor Paradox? Ah. Yes, I've thought about it many times. The idea that it'd be ideal for all illnesses to disappear but doctors would no longer have jobs. Not only that, but even when there are more effective, suitable treatments, the industry's profits are prioritized over the rights and well-being of patients. Yeah, it's kind of the same for me. I think the less crime there is in the world, the better. If I lose my job because there's no more crime, I wouldn't mind. 
But complete peace ain't gonna happen, and there are times when innocent people become victims of the law. Mm. And you can't bear that? Uh, who knows? I didn't even think about these things back when I was busy with work every day. I was just happy doing my dream job. Maybe I was only looking at the bright side on purpose. I was only thinking about doing what I was supposed to do. Minamo-san, why are you telling me this? I've been thinking, what kind of person is the real you? To be honest, I don't know myself. All I do know is, you're struggling with some sort of dilemma inside you. Am I wrong? Mm. Impressive, is all I can say. I feel like I now understand why serial killers become obsessed with the detective after them. <sighs> There you go with your nonsensical comparisons. Yeah, yeah. The answer couldn't be put in more simpler terms, and there's something I've come to realize too. You and I were surprisingly alike. We're both idealists chasing unattainable dreams. Hope this is something racist just because they're both brown skin. That'd be terrible. <sighs> yeah, now that you mention it, you're right. <clears throat> then let's shake off these uncertain feelings by running as fast as we can under the star skill filled sky. <laughs> Alright, I'll race to the other side. <gasps> Hold on, why would we go running in the middle of the night? Mm -hmm. Then, shall we do it during the day? <laughs> well, it's not like I don't like exercise, so I guess I could go with you every once in a while. Ooh, fourth one. <laughs> Fried egg. Uh... G, G? Garlic. <laughs> Crepe. Uh, no. P, so... Pilaf. <laughs> Wagra. Ramen! Ah, uh, I wish I could eat some. I mean, darn it, that ends with S. Uh, I lost again. Yeah. You put up more of a fight this time. You nearly had me. <sighs> I'm zero wins and 24 losses with food word chain now. You're too good at this, Yuma. <laughs> By the name of Yuma Mashiro, I cannot lose in a game involving food. Yep, buddy. Food and games are both in your field of expertise. I know, why don't we play with flower names this time? Then I might have a chance. Or maybe not. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, I'm getting sleepy too. Maybe we should start heading back? Oh, I know. Yuma, can we hold hands? Huh? With you? I know I should be using words to convey what I'm thinking like you do, but this is an important method of communication too. I think right now, more than anything, this is the best way to show you my current state of mind. <laughs> I knew I was right not to give up. <laughs> give up on what? So. Becoming closer with you. Time and time again, I have been hated by women such as yourself in particular. At schools, social outings, by people of various ages and various groups. Ah, uh, I, th I think I can see that. If it wasn't for our circumstances, and if you hadn't kept trying without giving up, I don't think we would have come this far. <laughs> I should be thanking you. No, I am the one who should be thanking you. I never knew the simple act of playing word games or holding hands can be so heartwarming. Oh, so there are things even you don't know. Yeah. Yes, and you are the one who taught me. Hi. Then we're even, right? <laughs> but I am not giving up my wins for word chain. Uh... Then I'm definitely going to win next time. Oh my god, another one? Oh no, that's not okay. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it's her again. Ah, so soft. This comforting sense of acceptance. My goodness, this is going to ruin me. <laughs> it appears you have become completely enamored by my captivating body. Oh, yeah. I'm head over heels. I never want to let go. So no. That will not do. It is almost breakfast time. Wow. There is no more. How much do you plan on eating so late at night? Dame. Do not underestimate our calorie output while sleeping. 
with this, I'll be skinny by morning. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's no more food. You're not mistaking me for a personal chef or something, are you? <laughs> It is your calling as one who has mastered the knowledge of vegetables. I appreciate the meal. Hi, hi. Yes, yes, you're welcome. But honestly, your appetite is a bit of a hurdle for a life of survival. Have you thought about being considerate of the others and eating a little less? Dame. I cannot do that. Maintaining this figure is my reason for living. Yeah, yeah. You should try being more cooperative. You don't have any servants looking after you in this environment. Though it may be hard for you to cooperate with others as someone who grew up doing nothing. Yeah. Even I am not that oblivious. In this world, you must hunt animals by your own hands to obtain meat. Hunters must put their life on the line, so it must be done in groups. I participate in them despite the risk to my own life. Mm. Well, I suppose... So Growing vegetables is your field of expertise, so you should be the one to do it. Utilizing our aptitudes and finding ways to live, that is what it means to cooperate in this world. <sighs> You're absolutely right. I thought you were pretty oblivious, but I'm impressed you put that much thought into it. <laughs> when living in a desolate world, these things are expressed by actions, even without conscious thought. The harder you work, the more vegetables will grow. So, work hard, Zen Kubota. Aww. I didn't expect that. I guess you'll always be the madam, no matter how the world ends up. So. Precisely. Regarding cooperation by utilizing our aptitudes, you are suitably skilled in cooking as well. <laughs> are you saying you want me to be the designated cook? So, yeah. Correct. Ano, so. Wasn't Officer good at cooking too? <laughs> then you and Mina Mosutochi can cooperate and cook for everyone. If you actively show willingness to cooperate in such ways, I may reconsider my meal portions. Possibly. Oh. Ah, what a long day. I just want to go, yeah, right here. Mm. I don't know what that means, but I could definitely use a beer right now. Having a beer after I finish proofreading, I drink it down with that sense of accomplishment. Ah, uh, how can you say that? Talking about that stuff that's downright criminal. Or maybe miss the taste of a cold drink after a shift too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I can just picture you taking a big cup of beer right after work. Uh, it, yeah, yeah, well, I guess so. Right, I would like a drink after work. That sense of fulfillment after a hard day's work made it taste all the better. Baka. Oh no, I really want to drink now. This is a serious crime, you know. I should arrest you right now. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's a malicious arrest. I'll contact the media and spread this to the no, world. No, no, you're the one abusing your authority. That's a violation of the anti-nuisance ordinance. This is an abuse of power. I've done nothing wrong. All I said was I wanted to drink. It's not like I legally brewed my own alcohol. <gasps> Haruto. <gasps> what? I really didn't do anything. So, yeah. That's it. We don't have any. We can make some. Yeah, we'll just be doing experiments on some remote island. We ain't breaking really any laws. Mm. That's awfully convenient. Alright. Let's make some alcohol then. So, well, all we really need to do is put some yeast in something high in sugar and ferment it. Great, we know what to do, so let's get Gavin Tools Ingredients. Uh? Now, what's that look? You don't want to do it? I'm already fired up. <laughs> yeah, seeing you all excited when you want to do it rather than worrying about this or that. Yeah, I want to have a beer after a hard day's work too. Let's do it, Minamo. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Time for Project A to begin. Let's do this. Oh, I was hoping they would actually make the beer. Oh. Hey, Dr. Mamoru! Remember when you told me to do proper maintenance for my prosthetics? Mm. I do. What about Nande? it? I was wondering how you know so much about them. Is it because you're a doctor? Mm. Mm. I wouldn't say all doctors are knowledgeable about these things. Most of what I know about prosthetics come from mystery novels. Uh, the historic novels? 
you mean those stories where someone gets killed and a detective tries to find out who the killer is? That's a pretty broad way of putting it, but that's about right. Yes, reading mystery novels is a hobby of mine. I say mystery novel, but there are many subcategories that fall under that genre. There's still all sorts of things you can learn from these books, and not just about prosthetics. You can even learn things that'd be helpful for surviving situations like ours. <gasps> oh? Like what? Awesome. For example, cicadas are edible raw. Ugh. No, thank you. I've also read that ants can be pretty tasty when they're boiled. Ugh. <sighs> what kind of mystery is that? I agree, Sachika. That's disgusting. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? There are many different types of mystery novels. That trick involving edible and non-edible bugs is truly fantastic. Uh, I don't really want to read that book. But reading is really important, huh? Most books Sachika was told to read were sciencey, so there weren't many survival tips in them. Oh, can you tell me about the stories you like? Mm. Sure, I could go on forever about mystery novels. This could go until morning, uh. though. My best to listen. <laughs> I'm only kidding. You get sleepy, you can sleep whenever you'd like. But not sleeping when you want to know what happens next makes Mr. Novel so great. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Doo's being a meanie. Kiki Wadu. Come on, Nina! Nothing like lying around next to a girl. Oh, so creepy. What were they called again? Negative ions? I can feel healing particles in the air. You know, I've always wanted to spend more time talking with you, Rinko. Oh, I feel so sorry for Rinko. I'm sorry. <laughs> you did? Hola. Well, yeah, you're the girlest in the group and really cute. Uh, of course, there's Minamo, Yumo, Sachika. You're all cute, too. So desu I see. Mm hmm? Huh? Something wrong? I hope I didn't offend you or something. If I did, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh I'm sorry too. You might think I'm too self-conscious, but I don't like when people say things like that about me. Me either, Rico. Ugh, disgusting. Eh? What? Why? Don't girls also think like, Yay, there are so many hot guys here! Or, it seems easy to talk to. Not even a little? No. I mean, maybe some girls do, but not every single one, you goddamn sexist monolith. So this Personally, I can't say I do. I don't look at the people here in that mm. way. Uh, is that so? So you're saying being told you're cute by a guy you're not interested in is just a nuisance? Yes. Even if it's some guy I'm interested in. No, no thank you. Uh, um, I suppose so. Oh, but I don't mean you fall into that category. Yeah. Well, uh, it's fine. You don't need to be concerned about my feelings. Anyway, go on. So, sure. When a boy calls me cute, other girls treat me differently, and it makes things awkward. When someone says that, I don't know how to respond, and it just troubles me a lot. Men tend to have a lot of pride, so if I say the wrong thing back, they sometimes try getting back at me. Oh, Rinko, so true. One of the hardest things for a woman to deal with is like saying no to men, because when women say no, men kill them. So, I don't think everyone would necessarily be happy about being called cute. Hmm. Ah, I see. I was just happy and excited about being with a cute girl, so I want to express how I felt. I didn't mean to make you feel troubled. Sorry. Yes, I see that now. I see you're a very candid person. I'm sorry for being so difficult with you, too. <laughs> don't worry about it. Just means I'm easy to talk to, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Ugh. Rio is the worst. Kusa. Just a dream. Damn it. Yo, are you okay? Hmm. Yeah, sorry. Did I wake you? Yeah. Yes, but you were crying out in your sleep. Did you have a bad dream? Yeah, yeah kind of. Kusa. Damn it. Wait, don't look. Shit, am I crying? I'm so pathetic. Yeah. No, you're not. Everyone needs to cry at times. Oh, would you like some water? Mm. If you wouldn't mind, I'd prefer you comfort me for a bit. Well, 
Wait, I didn't mean that in a weird way. <laughs> it's okay. I feel the same way at times, so I understand. Why don't we step outside for a bit? It might help with getting some fresh air. Ah, <laughs> the breeze feels so nice. Did it help you calm down? Huh? But man, I really showed you an embarrassing side of me back there. There was nothing embarrassing about it. But you kept repeating a girl's name, so it made me sad just listening to you. Acha! Really? Guess I didn't completely get over her yet after all. It almost made me cry because it reminded me of someone I used to like. I don't know where or how that person died in the end. <sighs> Hold up. Don't cry, you're gonna make me cry too. Or maybe, since I was the one who started, I'm the one who made you cry? Oh man, this is kind of like kids with the whole he said, she said thing, huh? You really say anything that comes to mind, don't you? You may forget about my tears. <laughs> you know, I get that all the time. <sighs> I thought so. But we ended up not crying in the end, so I guess it worked out. <laughs> In any case, let's start heading home. Uh. A relationship between equals, huh? So. Yes, I would like to experience such a thing. Uh. I mean, in our situation now, aren't we all equal? With the world destroyed and all of us needing to survive, we're all in the same boat here. So. A relationship between equals. It is something I have never been able to attain. Are you even listening? What? You want this so much you zone out thinking about it? I said, aren't we already equal in the situation we're in? But you still call me madam. What does that matter what I call you? That nickname reminds me of my servants. Therefore, I feel it accentuates the disparity of our statuses. Fair enough. You will call me Yuma Poo. <laughs> what? Do you really think I would call you that? I am telling you I would like to be called that. You say we are equal, but it is not convincing when you call me Madam. But I doubt you'll oblige me with that name. Glaring at me isn't gonna change my mind. You know. How about you call me that? <sighs> That's more realistic, but... I think being equal is more about a state of mind. You admit it is realistic, but still refuse. It seems I have no choice but to see you as my servants forever. You don't need to make a face like that. Fine, Yuma. Happy? Hmm. I still feel somewhat of a distance between us. But I think I got a taste of what it is like to be equals. Thank you, Zen. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, what is this? <laughs> A relationship between equals, obviously. Now! About Project A! Oh, I'm excited. I've been wondering about... I've been wondering, but does the A stand huh? for... Alcohol, yeah! Why do you ask? I mean, it's just so direct. It's something some old guy would say, like my shitty chief editor. Mama. Who cares? As the owner of a local cafe once said, a rose by any other name would smell just as sweet. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff. Anyway, I talked to Yuma about how we can make Project A a success. <laughs> Yuma? That's a bit unexpected. <laughs> I think so, but she's pretty knowledgeable and knows things about all sorts of food. So she told me about a type of alcohol from South America that's made with corn. <laughs> hmm, corn, huh? Then I've got some pretty interesting info too. I talked to Zen and thought about how we can make wine from grapes. I never knew this, but he told me there's a type of yeast on grape skin that helps make wine. Ooh, great! Our project's definitely making progress. 
Soon we'll be able to enjoy a drink after work. <sighs> We've got a lot of problems to solve first. We'll need a fermentation container and a way to adjust temperature. It has to be distilled too. We may also have issues finding ingredients. We'll need a lot of them if we're going to make enough to drink. In this environment, it'd get contaminated with all sorts of bacteria while brewing. Stop! Stop! Harto, your bros are fried like crazy. Don't stress yourself out over it. Oh, sorry, I got carried away. Produce alcohol hand about theory. It's about hot. Well, also sanitation. <laughs> A cafe owner once said, "Your state of mind can make drinks taste better." Oh. Well, theory is important too. Who the heck is that cafe owner anyway? Anyhow, how about that corn one? Does it seem easy to make? About that, Yuma wouldn't tell me how to make it for some reason. She had this hard look on her face. <gasps> oh, excuse me, honey, oh, yeah. oh. I'll have to get her talking yeah. next time. I see. I wonder if there's a reason for that. I'll go ask with you next time. Either way, we made some good progress, so let's rest for today. Oh, I just remembered. Have you been keeping at it? <gasps> huh? Keeping at what? Masaka. You know, maintenance for your prosthetics. Remember how I told you you'll need to do it every day, or it could lead to big problems? <gasps> oh. Yare, yare. I forgot. Uh, I thought about doing it in the beginning, but it's just so much work. Sachika. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Mama. Oh, come here. I know. You're only saying because you're worried about me. But sometimes I really hate looking at this arm and leg. When I'm all alone, feeling the coldness of these limbs, I just get so scared. Ah. I see. I'm sorry, huh? Sachika. Why are you saying Why are you saying sorry? I'm the one who messed up. Yeah. No, you didn't do anything wrong. Nothing at all. Uh. Hey, what if you did it for me? Eh? Me? I mean, you know so much about prosthetics, and you don't get bored so e quickly like I do. Daga. Yes, but that's... <gasps> oh, sorry. I should do it myself, huh? Yeah. No. If you don't mind, I suppose it's not a problem. I'm fine with it, so it's okay. Sachi would be happy if you did maintenance for me. Mm. I see. Then I guess I'll go ahead and spoil you. Let's spoil me! <laughs> my, my, what am I going to do with you? <laughs> Zen, you should open up more. Aren't you being a little cold? Huh? It's just how I am. Uh, mm -hmm. How do I put it? Maybe it's because I'm a police officer, but... I feel like you're especially wearing me compared to the others. <laughs> <laughs> you're just imagining it. Uh, I'll bet you were a huge troublemaker as a kid, weren't you? Huh? huh? So Smoking cigs behind the school, getting fist fights by the river, going for joyrides on stolen bikes. Even if I did, what of it? Uh, I'm thinking it's because you had that sort of past you're wary of me being a cop and all. The past is the past. I don't think any of it anymore. <laughs> so you were a troublemaker. Well, that must mean you've been in juvie, right? What if I was? Ah! I'm proud of you for setting your life straight. <sighs> this doesn't just apply to you, but... Why is it that cops always barge in when they're not welcome? Uh, nah. What do you mean? It pisses me off. She was just like you. A young female detective. Digging up old wounds, pretending to be a good person. I wondered what enjoyment she got out of it. I... I just want to get to know you better, Zen. You said that you became a police officer because it suits you. I'm beginning to see why. Zen... Can you leave me alone from now on? I don't want to deal with your crap. Zen, did you hate her? I did. Just thinking about it makes me want to puke. And I don't want to see your face anymore, either. This is not heartwarming at all! What kind of bonding is this? Ginko? He suddenly left the 
room in the middle of our conversation the other day. Are you okay? Y yeah Sorry about that. I just suddenly got caught up in my own thoughts. So, what happened after Makoto confessed his feelings for you? Um, well... Oh, I know. Before we talk about that, what about you, Sachika? Was there anyone special that you liked or were interested in? Someone I liked? Um, my doctor at the hospital, maybe? Um, that's not what I meant. Not because they were nice to you or because they were around. Ah, uh, what am I saying? I just mean more like... Oh, I get it. Then, Seigi. Yeah, good. Tell me about the Seigi. I really liked him, but we could only meet once a week. Even when I was eating or studying, all I could think about was him. Ah, I know what you mean. That's what happens when you like someone. Yeah, he was so cool. We were the same age, but he turned into a superhero and fight protect the world. Oh, she's talking about anime to watch. I cried a lot when he went to fight the bad guys and blew up the base while still inside. But you know, even now, Seiki is watching up the world from outer space. Ah, oh, he's so cool. Sachika, don't tell me he's a character in an anime or manga. Yep, he's Shota Ranger Red. The main character of the Sunday morning show, Shout Angers. Oh, Shout, no, oh, Shout Angers. Hmm. Also known as Seiki Morita. Ah! Okay, I told you my relationship story. Promise to tell me yours next time. That's cute. 